so this is part two of my dollar store art haul um, what I'm gonna be showing you is basically all from the Dollar King which I'll link down below and they have um, pretty much everything available online but the first thing I'm gonna show you is from Dollar Tree and um, I was really excited to see these because I've never seen them before and they are these 8 by 10 inch stretched canvas um, they the actually the quality of these looks really really nice I'm super super excited to try them um, it says it's good for oil and acrylic paints which that's what we're planning on using um, but I was really excited because they're 8 by 10 and sometimes when you're at a dollar store you find a canvas but they're usually significantly smaller so to find an 8 by 10 one was pretty exciting so I got three of them um, two for my boys to play with and one for me to kind of just work with so that's what I got at the Dollar Tree and the rest I got at the Dollar King and I have to say this store has become my hidden gem for art supplies. Um, I typically would go to an art store or even Michael's to get most of my art supplies, but I have discovered this store and it has just kind of blown my mind. Um, typically I get things for my children, so not for myself, but I wanted to see how the art supplies kind of fared for someone who is a bit more of an actual kind of adult artist. Um, like I don't you know, I'm not going to be using it for finger painting. I'm going to be using it for actual painting. So let's see how it works. Um, so I figured I'd bring you guys along with me to find out how it works. So first, I'm going to show you what I got. Um, I got another canvas. This one is an, also an 8 by 10 inch. Um, but what's different about this one is that it's a flat canvas. I've gotten these before in a smaller version. I've never seen this big one. And in fact, um, today they had only one left of these but they carry these often so I would see I would suggest looking because they have them often but they have them in different sizes um, so I was really excited to see an 8 by 10 inch um, anytime I see something larger like that I want to get it because it's not something you find often then I wanted to get some paints I've tried their paints before but again it's only been in the realm of like kitty painting so letting my kids paint on giant pieces of butcher paper or kind of doing finger painting or whatever I've never tried it for actually um, fine painting and I'm not by any means or any stretch of the imagination like a fine artist but um, you know I do like to paint every once in a while so I did get these acrylic paints and look at these tubes these are I don't know what is it three and a half ounces but they're pretty decent sized tubes. I got um, different shades of blue, some black, um, red, yellow, and then this kind of burnt yellow color, I think. I don't really know what that what color that is, but it's really, oh, it's actually yellow ochre. Hmm. Uh, so these are just beautiful, beautiful colors that I'm really excited to see how they work. I was kind of bummed up that they didn't have any white. I would have really liked to try some white, but I didn't see it. And then this is um, a different brand and a different quality of paint. This is just pearlescent paint, um, orange, green, and silver. Um, I don't think that these will fare as well as the other acrylic paints, but I could be wrong. So these I'm just gonna try out and kind of swatch them for you just to show you the quality. Um, and then I got this cute little mason jar it's a craft mason jar I was gonna use this just for like using for um, cleaning out my brushes um, it's not glass it's plastic but it is super duper cute and it's really small and it has a lid so I thought this was adorable and then um, oh I also got a pink pearlescent so I also found um, I was I'm planning on doing I was planning on doing mostly just acrylic painting but I also found this little um, super super basic six color um, watercolor tablet um, set and I tend to watercolor more than I paint with acrylics so I was thinking that I would try these out and see how they fare um, I have really good quality paper so I figured maybe I'll just test it out on my paper and see how it works um, and see if it compares I mean obviously it's not gonna be like the really expensive paints that you can get um that quality is you know obviously very different but i'm curious to see um if these are good or not so we'll find out and then i found 
Um, I was gonna get just like a regular mechanical pencil to kind of sketch out first, but I found actually artist sketch pencils, um, a whole set that has the hardness um, from HB all the way to 8B. I'll show you. Um, so I thought that was really exciting because uh, typically finding you don't well, you wouldn't find like an artist grade pencil um, in a dollar store. So I'm really excited to try these out and see how they work. And um, I mean, a pencil is a pencil essentially, but I'm, I'm excited to see the different hardness that they offer. Um, and then I wanted to get paintbrushes, and I was kind of worried because when I went to the Dollar Tree, the paintbrush options that they had were horrible. I mean, they were um, like the ones that you get for little kids with like the plastic bristles, and I just didn't want to get that. I was like, whatever, this is such a waste of my time. But the Dollar King had quite the assortment of brushes. I was really, really excited. Um, so I ended up getting, oh, I thought I got two. I must have just gotten one. Um, so I ended up getting this set right here. And so I'm really hoping, I mean, for, I, I would expect to get these at Michael's or at Blick or at some other art store um, for a few bucks. And so I was really happy to find these for a dollar. So um, I don't know how good they'll fare, but they're, um, I think they're nylon brushes or ni nylon bristles. No, maybe not nylon. It doesn't say. But either way, they look good, and I think they're going to do the job. So we'll find out how those work. And then obviously I've got a palette. Um, I've gotten palettes at Michael's before, and they're actually pretty, they can get pretty pricey. This is not cheap plastic. This is really, really hard, durable plastic, and it also comes with the um, paint scrapers. And so I was really happy to find this palette. This is a very good quality palette. And again, for a dollar. And then this is completely unrelated, but I wanted to get these for my kids. They had these twistable like mini crayons. So anyways, we're going to see how this works out. We're going to see if these are really great project um, supplies or if they are busts. Um, I'm, I'm super excited and so let's find out uh, how they work. Alright, so this is... Um my stash basically aside from the canvases and um, a few more of the paints this is all the stuff that I got I'm going to actually try the watercolors out first just because I love watercolors so much um, and then after that we're gonna dip into the acrylics so I was thinking for the watercolors I'm gonna try let me see well let's see how these paint brushes work yeah, these bristles actually feel really, really nice. Really nice. I'm surprised at the quality of these. Master Stroke Round, Master Stroke Shader, and Master Stroke Over. So, I don't typically find brushes of this caliber at stores like the Dollar Store. Sorry, it's like really blurry. I'm trying to get it to get clear, but it's not really working. Um, so yeah. We'll see how these fare, but I think they're going to do really, really well. I'm super excited about this adorable little mason jar. I mean, how cute is this, right? And then um, let's check out the paints. I mean, this is a super cheapy little watercolor paint set. Like, let's be real. Um, it's definitely not like a high quality watercolor paint set, but I'm curious to see how the paints themselves are going to fare. Um, it, it would have been nice to see like tubes of paint, but that's just asking way too much. I think that's like a ambitious goal. Let's see this brush that's in here. Yeah, this is a pretty cheapy little brush. It's all like frayed already. You can kind of see, sorry, I'm trying to like, I'm not really able to get this like super clear. Um, but I'm going to try it anyways, just because it came with it. Um, but I'm, I'm really putting all my money on the other brushes that I was able to find there. So let's test it out. I'm excited about these as well. Let's check these out. 
Oh, yeah. So these look very much like the sketch pencils that I would normally buy, like the turquoise ones. Um, I mean, is a pencil a pencil? I don't know. When it comes to sketch pencils, I really am a little bit picky. So when it comes to sketch pencils, I am a little bit picky when it, with it, um, but these look really good and so I'm excited to try them out. Um, so yeah, so let's see how they work. I'll go with HB for sketching. Um, all right, let's get this started. Okay, so I was actually gonna get some watercolor paper, but I noticed that this canvas says great for all mediums. Um, and I just feel like testing it out and seeing if that's really true. I do feel like it might work just because it is a bit of a dry consistency. It's not really, um, like it doesn't have like a finish on it, so it might actually work for watercoloring. So, let's see if it actually does. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna just sketch out um, some florals. I think I just want to do like a really simple um, bouquet and kind of just go from there. I've been really into florals lately, which I'm sure if you've been following my account and seeing my bullet journal spreads, you'll notice that. into right now the sketch pencil is doing a, per a perfectly fine job I mean I wasn't expecting much from it to be honest so it's all good in the hood <laughs> yeah I just said that that was really embarrassing um, well, let's just maybe throw another bloom up here. I have to say right now I'm doing this with my husband and kids all out of the house and it's magnificent. <laughs> I actually have time to like spend you know some focus on something other than being a mom. Okay so we're just gonna do this for right now and call it a day. Let me put another leaf right here. Something really simple, right? Um, and then now I'm gonna start painting. So I think I'm gonna try, um, oh, let's get the palette out. So I think I'm gonna try to use the um, crappy paintbrush just to see how it works um, and then go from there. So. It's like super red. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit of blue to it. And it actually has a yellow also. Let's see. So I'm gonna try the white, whiten it up just a bit. And get back some more red. And then maybe throw in a little bit of this yellow. Okay, so it's kind of like a mauve color. All right, let's try it out. Oh, see, look, that's happening already. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know about that. It's going to be super annoying. Yeah, I'm not feeling that at all. This paintbrush is already driving me nuts and I've just started. Okay, it's
it's I mean, okay it's it's not like the worst paintbrush in the world I will say that but it's not very good by any stretch of the imagination it's not very good and I can't really get the points that I would like to get which is kind of annoying but I'm just gonna finish one flower with it and then I will jump into using a different one because this is kind of driving me nuts uh, yeah I don't like this paintbrush at all I mean granted if you were not doing something super detailed you could use this and just get away with it but I don't like it I'm kind of picky I mean I'm not that picky with paintbrushes but this is I mean it's not terrible right but I'm kind of impressed at how well this canvas is taking the watercolor that's pretty awesome okay so enough of that one let's try the round I'm really excited to try this one okay now let's change the flower up a bit Add a little more yellow to it. I don't really like that color, so let's maybe, maybe make it a little more orange. The only thing I don't like about palettes is that the colors tend to <clears throat> get all mixed together, which is kind of annoying, but it's probably just the way that I'm using it. It's probably my fault. Okay, so this is already holding its shape very, very nicely, which I really am happy about. Yeah, now we're talking. Mm-hmm. Okay, not so bad, not so bad. Yeah, I'm liking this paintbrush a lot. And you know what, these watercolors are not terrible. I'm surprised. Like they're pretty pigmented for watercolors, which I think is really kind of a feat. Yeah, I'm kind of digging this. Hmm, all right. Yeah. Okay, so, so far I'm really liking this paintbrush. And I'm really liking the canvas a lot. too much water on it but it'll be interesting to see how that fares um, drying time like right now this is already starting to well not really that one but it's starting to dry which is kind of cool I mean it'll take a minute because watercolors take a minute to dry but yeah these are pretty good I'm, I'm kind of down for these Okay, let's add some greenery to this. Let's see how bright this green is. Green's pretty bright. Okay, let's try. That's actually a really nice green. I was worried it was gonna come out looking a little too like limey. Um, 
but it's not. It's like a really nice kind of like hunter green. Yeah. You guys, I think that we've found like the ultimate dollar store for art supplies. I'm super impressed. Super impressed. Hmm. I mean, I'm no like amazing artist by any stretch of the imagination, but you know, I'm trying to do my best here. And I think it's coming out pretty nicely. Let's just color in this base. Yeah, so I feel like when the paint is too wet, it um, definitely makes a difference on the canvas. Uh, but that's fine. I mean, I spent a dollar on this canvas. What are we expecting, right? <laughs> I'm not trying to like have this be like professional artist quality, but it's also using watercolors on a canvas. And typically I don't use watercolors on canvas. I use, um, I use it on watercolor paper. So let me make these a little bit darker. Just up here up top, right here too. And then maybe add a little bit of darkness down here. Give it a little bit of depth. Okay, so I'm pretty impressed. I'm not gonna lie. The paints are great. Um, the palette works perfectly. The paintbrush that came with this, not so good. I'm not super surprised by that, to be honest. The canvas is really, really great. Um, yeah, this is what it looks like up close, just so you can kind of see. I think I'm gonna add a few more details in there just for fun, but I just wanted to do a quick, quick little drawing for you just to see what the quality is. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this and if you're gonna be heading over to your nearest dollar store and finding some hidden watercolor gems. <laughs> All right, let's try the acrylic next. Okay, so now we're ready to try out the acrylics. Um, <laughs> the green that I have is really, um, neon -y, so we're gonna see how I can mix that up to get a better shade. Um, I'm kind of excited to try these paints out, so let's just kind of go with it and see what happens. Um, I'm not really the best with acrylics. I'm definitely stronger in watercolor, but I figured I gotta challenge myself, and this year I wanted to challenge myself, and one of those challenges was to try acrylic painting more. Um, I don't do it as often as I probably should for someone who likes to be creative all the time, but let's give it a go. I really haven't painted in a while, um, so it's fun to kind of try something else out. I'm glad I got a few of these canvases. This is actually the ones that I got from the Dollar Tree, so they're the thicker canvas. Um, so we'll see how this works. I'm excited to try these. So let's maybe just try a few colors. I'm not going to use all the colors just because it's not really going with what I'm going to draw or what I'm going to paint, but um, you get the gist. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do like a loose kind of floral. I'm sticking with florals today, I don't know why, that's just something I'm feeling, so we're just gonna stick with florals. And yeah, let's just get started. Very similar to what I did before, but instead of being in a vase, I'm just going to have it be kind of a bouquet.
And with flowers, I like them to be very like natural and organic. So I don't even really like to sketch too much beforehand. I just wanna kinda keep it very simple and then just sort of go from there. Sometimes I feel like when I try too hard to make it look like something, it doesn't end up looking like the thing that I want it to look like. So I like to just do like a general outline of the flower and kind of just see what evolves from that. Sorry, I'm not talking too much. I like to really get in the zone of it and then before I realize it, I'm just like super silent. <laughs> what do you guys like to do when you paint? Do you usually listen to music or do you like to have the silence around you? I'm curious. If you like watching these videos, by the way, just let me know and I can do some more because this is really rather soothing. I'm, I'm enjoying this quite a bit. Okay, I think for now that's gonna be good enough, just a really simple bouquet. Okay, so I have my round. I'm probably gonna stick with this one just because I really like it. Um, so let's just kind of see what happens. I'm trying to dry it off a little. I'm gonna mix a little bit of this yellow ochre with the red to create a pretty color. Oh, that's a pretty color. That's actually really, really lovely. Yeah, I kind of knew I was gonna like the yellow ochre. Okra, ochre, but um, I'm liking it a lot more than I thought I would. And then I'm gonna just kinda add in some shading when I'm done. I feel like I should just leave some white space. Like I said, this is something that I don't typically use as acrylic. This is not a medium that I'm super comfortable with. So if you have any tips for me, I would be more than happy to hear them. Yeah. Look at how pigmented this is coming out. I mean, there are obviously some areas that are, you know, a little bit faint, but this is, this is going on really nicely. I mean, this is comparable to some of the, I guess, lesser quality brands that you would find at an art store, only for a fraction of the price, which, you know, I'm always down for that. I feel like most artists like to find a good deal. <laughs> At least I do. So if I found a good deal, I'm definitely down to share it with you guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed by this, to be honest. The paintbrush is still holding up pretty nicely too. I would have preferred like a finer tipped brush um, to add into the packet because I like this one but I, I think a, a finer one would have probably been like a nice little addition but this isn't bad yeah it's not bad at all okay let's try getting in some yellow in here 
that yellow is like so bright. <laughs> that is just too much. <laughs> that is too much. But mixing the two together creates a really beautiful gold. So I think that's going to be a nice little detail. And this is, I'm just using this kind of like to add some highlights in between. Um, I don't really want to wait forever for this paint to dry in between. So I'm just kind of doing this now quickly for all intents and purposes, really just because I'm filming this. filling in these little white spots. I mean, typically you would probably fill them in with like a darker color, but I wanted to brighten it up a bit. Um, I just think that'll look really pretty. Yeah, it just adds like another dimension of color to it. I am noticing that these are blending pretty nicely actually, really nicely. Again, the brush isn't the best for this specific port part of it, port of it, <laughs> um, but it, it's working for sure. So I think I'm gonna actually make these little ones that color. Yeah, right now I would really benefit from using a finer tipped brush, especially with these little guys. But that's okay. Yeah. Definitely darker than I wanted. I wish I could lighten it up. That would be great. <laughs> but I can't. I mean, I have white paint, but I don't want to, like, just for the integrity of, like, this project, I don't want to use paints that are not part of the mix, part of this haul. Do any of you guys like to draw flowers? I'd love to know what kind of flowers you like to draw. I feel like my technique is very watercolor heavy. Okay, and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of here, just on the tips. All right. Yeah, this one, I don't really like the color that this one came out, but that's not the paint's fault, it's my fault. I'm gonna try, let's see. We're gonna just, change this up a little. I'm gonna turn this into like a more reddish hue and use that for the highlighted areas yeah that actually goes really nicely together I really like how that's looking I like this canvas I think I'm gonna buy these canvases from now on it would be great if they came in other sizes like larger sizes but this is the largest one which I mean I feel like I'd be asking a lot for a larger size canvas um, but that's not bad I'm going to show you up You can see that this is kind of murky green, but I think that's just because I added some of the blue to it. Let me add some more shading. Would probably make it look a little nicer. So I'm just gonna finish this up and then kind of go over it and show you the finished product.
So when I'm adding these little leaves, it's a little bit difficult to get those kind of detailed marks um, or these detailed lines. So it would definitely be nice to have like a smaller brush. Um, but I'm trying to do the best that I can. I'm trying to just use up the pure green right now. And I kind of like this. It just adds a little bit of variety to the shades of green that we have going on. So now I'm just going to add in a few kind of fine lines to sort of create shading with it. I don't typically like to mix black with my colors, but this is where I would normally use like a kind of like a marker tip. Um, but I wanted to keep it all with the paint. So I mix a little bit of black with the green and I'm just adding in some of like some just detail marks into the petals. Um, just so that way it has like that more realistic kind of flowery feel. I think for this one, I'm gonna just keep it red um, but I really want to just see how pigmented the red is by itself and it's really nice like I'm super super impressed by this um, yeah this is a really nice little red so that's really really cool I'm very happy to see the quality of this red so I'm just gonna add maybe just some dark shading to it um, just to kind of break up the petals And that's about it. Add a little bit of shading here at the bottom. Yeah, overall I'm really impressed. The paint is basically dry now for the main flowers that I painted at the very beginning. Let's see if I can do these fine lines. That's gonna be a little bit challenging, but let's see. Yeah, a little bit, yeah, it's not bad. Um, I would like it to be a little bit more fine, obviously, but that's okay. Okay, so there you have it. There's my finished product. Um, you know, like I said, I'm not the most amazing at acrylics, but I'm kind of happy with how it came out. Normally I would add like more foliage and things like that, but I feel like that's something that I would need to get finer with. So if I want to, I might just get a smaller paintbrush and kind of go for it. But for the purposes of just using only these products, I'm really happy with how it came out. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, please don't judge too harshly. I know that my painting isn't like super amazing, but um, I'm just kind of going for it and trying something new and trying to challenge myself. So I encourage you guys to do the same and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.